Hey everybody, I'm here today with Gabe Coleman, Senior Class President. We're going to talk a little bit about the opening of school. So welcome. Thanks Thank for you, taking Mr. the time Rogers. to come in. Of course. From stu the student perspective, how has the school year started? Well, from the student perspective, I think it's been a fast start. It's been a productive start. I can definitely speak for myself and some of my other classmates in the class of 2024. Uh, I think that we all wanted to we all wanted to start. We wanted to get right back into it. We didn't want uh, much transition, but uh, I think we got the gears rolling now. So, sure. Sure. you know. You know, I obviously know this class very well, having a daughter that's a member of the senior class. It's an exciting year, um, but it's it feels like it's been a long time coming. And so I know you've been thinking about this oh for yeah. a long time. Oh, yeah. What, what are your overall goals? What do you, as a class, what are you all hoping to achieve this year? Yeah, it's so interesting that you bring that up because I was thinking this morning, the last time that the class of 2024 were the big dogs on campus, we were at home because of COVID. Oh, and that's true. Yeah, it was the 2019, 2020 school year. So it's strange to finally be here, to be the old ones. And I think we want to, we want to set a good example for all the younger kids. We want to, we want to show them, show them how to act and how to be a respectable bull student, represent the school well, of course, and the senior class. And uh, yeah, I think, um, I think being the oldest class on campus comes with a lot of responsibility, but it also comes with a lot of pride because it's like, Wow, finally. <laughs> yes, exactly. You've put in your time. I mean, and we've talked about this. There is something special about being a part of Bowles and being part of something much bigger than yourself. Like, I feel that. Like, I'm coming from a long legacy of people that worked really hard to place the school in the position it is now. Absolutely. And the school's going to be here long after both you and I <laughs> leave. Um, and so it is important to set that example. And there is a tremendous amount of wisdom that I think that you can impart um, on the underclassmen. And so I encourage you to continue to do that throughout the year. So, I participated a little bit in student government when mm -hmm. I was in high school, but it wasn't this formalized. You know, we didn't have parliamentarian rules and stuff like that. Tell us about your specific role. What are your responsibilities? Oh, yes. So, um, it's interesting that you, you mentioned how the school will be here long after uh, you, and, uh, you and I depart. And one of, one of the biggest roles of being class president and just being a class representative is raising money for the senior class gift. Sure. Uh, so I believe the plan now is to have a uh, kind of dedicated seating area in the new Center for Learning, the new building going up, and we're, we're raising money for that. We're finding ways to fundraise and get everyone excited about it like we are, and hopefully, hopefully, yeah, that'll, that'll be a piece of the class of 2024 that remains, remains much longer after, after we uh, sure. go off. Yeah, that would be amazing. And, you know, I know from raising money myself, like it's it's not, I don't want people to feel like it's just about the dollar amount. Dollar amount's important. It allows us to do a lot of the special things that we do at Bowles. But it's really about the participation. And I think that's an area where your class could really set a mark and continue the legacy of the classes that come before you is to get that participation at rate up really, really high. Because this is going to be an area of campus that is going to be associated with your class for perpetuity. And that's really special. As we walk around campus and we see these other areas and you see different names, you know, that is a reminder of those important people that, you know, we came after that built the foundation that we were able to take advantage of. Exactly. Exactly. Cool. Tell me a little bit, when did you come to Bulls? Okay. What are some of the activities um, that you like to do in your free time? And, okay. you know, just a little bit more about yourself. Okay, sounds good. Uh, well, I came to Bulls in October of my second grade year. I was lucky they had one spot left, and I... I got in. I'm very happy about that, and, uh, and of course, I had to I had to get up to speed with how Bulls did things compared to my old school. But of course, I'm happy that I made the transition. Uh, and since then, I've I've found a lot of things through Bulls. I found a lot of things parallel to Bulls that I kind of that I try to combine with my Bulls experience well as well. Uh, I love writing of of all sorts, creative writing. Uh, over over the COVID summer, I started writing just one sense movie reviews. One sense because if I don't live it myself, I just go on and on. Sure, you know? sure. Um, but I've, I think I've probably over 200 now that wow. I've written. That's pretty cool. Um, and I also run track. I've been running track since sixth grade. Uh, so this is my senior year for track with bowls. So uh, it's, it's getting down to the point where I'm trying to enjoy running for, running for bowls for one, or one more year, but thinking about also if I'm going to run in the future. Uh, and I guess that's the same for all of, all of the extracurriculars. Uh, another one I would mention is my work with the Alzheimer's Association in honor of my grandmother, Pat, who has Alzheimer's. Uh, uh, my favorite thing that I've ever that I've ever been able to do was um, getting the Acosta Bridge lit up in purple. Um, I think it's been happening for the past two years now, and I've been told that it should just keep happening continually, which would be fantastic because it's amazing to see it lit up in purple. Um, but then, as far as a connection to bulls, I remember at one convocation I gave out uh, purple bracelets, Alzheimer's awareness bracelets, and that was amazing to put a big smile on my face to see all my classmates. Walking around, walking around, representing. Sure. No, that's that's important. Giving back is a 
is a wonderful thing. We're all blessed to be at Bulls. We're, yeah. We've been given um, a wonderful privilege to be here, and I think that one of the things that is really special is the degree to which our community looks to give back. Mm -hmm. And so, applause to you and your classmates. I know that it's it takes a lot of time. I know that you're working really hard in your day job of being a student <laughs> at Bulls too. So. Um, not discounting the fact that it's you know it's not easy, mm -hmm. um, but I wish you luck um, throughout this year. Really excited to work with you and the rest of the student government. Um, and excited to see where the future takes you. So I appreciate the time. Appreciate you coming. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Anytime, and thanks to everybody out there for all that you do.